Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your home group password on your Windows device. So a home group will automatically create a password so you can share it with other computers so you want to connect to your home group. And if you ever want to add a new computer to your home group, you will need to enter this password again. So this tutorial will show you guys how to change your home group password in Windows 10 if for some reason you want to change it or you lost it. Um, this will pretty much cover for you guys and it's pretty simple on how to do this as well. So please know you do have to be logged into an administrative account or have administrative privileges in order to proceed with this tutorial. But with that out of the way, we're just going to jump straight into it. So I'm actually going to close out this window because I want to go all the way back to where we would start this process from and that would be to head over to the start button and we're going to type in home group should be listed right above the control panel so you want to left click on that now on the control panel there should be an option underneath other home group options that says change the password so left click on that so now we have a new window saying changing the home group password will disconnect everyone make sure all home group computers are on and are not asleep or hibernating when you change your password. After you change your password, immediately go to each home group computer and type a new password. And pretty much it'll be very clear where you type the new password into your new devices. So just make sure you write this down or copy and paste and then share via the web or internet to your other computers. But anyway, we're going to left click on change the password. So at this point we can use an auto-generated password or we could type in a special one if we chose to. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that's really important is that you write it down. So once you've selected your new password, left click on next and then it'll begin selecting the change and then it'll begin generating the change to all computers connected to your home group. So now we can see that our home group password was successfully changed. Before you can access files and printers located on other computers, add those computers to your home group. You'll need the following password. So, very important, write this password down. And in the event that you forgot that password too, you could again go through the steps that we did in this tutorial and you could reset it once again. I'm not sure there is a daily limit to how many times you can reset your password. I'm going to say no, but hopefully you guys will need more than once in a while. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.